Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Abigail. And today we are going to be doing part two of my updated fidget collection. So like I said in the last video, part one, you definitely need to go watch it. Um, it was showing all of my poppets um, because I have so many new fidgets now. So many, so much more fidgets that I wanted to do a new video. Um, and I didn't want to do like it all in one video because that would be like an hour long. I didn't want to do that. So instead I'm doing it in parts so y'all so don't get bored. Um, so here is part two, stress balls. I'm so excited about this one um, because I love my stress balls and I love getting new ones because my favorite fidget ever, like if y'all ask me what is your favorite fidget, stress balls. Stress balls are my favorite. I don't have a typical like one I like more. I all of them. I love them all. Mini and all kinds of them. So we're gonna do my first drawer and my second drawer. My second drawer isn't as full. Um, but I'm gonna do both drawers because you know I just want to show y'all all of my um ones. So here we go. So number one, we'll do this one. This is my worm. It's kind of stretchy and it's like has, it's full of air. So and it has like this stuff on it. I love this one so much. And the color of it is so nice. Um, so this one is so amazing. I like this one a lot. So that's the first one. Then I have this. It's sticky, but like it doesn't stick, like your hands aren't sticky. It's just when you're holding this in your hands, it kind of like sticks to your hands, but your hands aren't sticky afterwards. Like, see, no stickiness. Um, it does smell a little weird. Ugh, don't smell these. Um, but it's a gummy bear, and it is from Cracker Barrel. So. Yeah, I got that. My hands are like, da da da, no. And then I've got. Let's do this one. This one actually sm smells like fish. I don't know why, but it has like rocks inside. Let me see if I can get like. It's like the. It's not actual rocks. It's like some kind of plastic beads. It's like you can like mold stuff. You can stretch it. Not too far though. You can like mold stuff with it. It's kind of like a dough ball, but filled with like beads. Um, then I have this DNA ball from Target because I have this DNA ball, but it's deflated and it's really sad. I really like I really like the ones more that has more um, DNA balls in them with more the ball more balls. So I want to get another one that has more balls. Because I've seen a bunch that have more balls. I just have to go shop for it in person. So I've got this one and this one. Um, then I have a pug and a mug. I like doing this. But that actually can break it. So you definitely don't want to break it. Um, so yeah, it looks kind of messy. That's because I've already broke it once and my dad super glued it back together. So yeah, then I've got this here. This is from five below and I really want to get some more that are the actual OG, um, um, PB and J's. This is from five below. If I do this. It sounds really nice. It sounds like what it sounds like when it's a PB and J. I don't have any PB and J's. Um, I really want to get one though. So yeah, I definitely want a PB and J. So if you're wondering, what is something you can send me? PB and J's, guys. Not peanut butter and jellies. Um, it's a kind of stress ball. It's like this one. Um, then let's move on to this one. This one's also filled with like those rocks inside. This one's just a smaller one. You can't really mold with it. 
Um, then I have this one that's filled with air. Also, by below. Um, this little keychain here is from by below. You're like, what is a fit? What is a keychain doing in your fidget collection? Well, it's actually a fidget. It has like sand inside. Let me see if I can get it like. I'm sorry, no, it has like little tiny, tiny beads, but it's so satisfying to play with. I mean, so satisfying. Um, then I have this from Hobby Lobby. It's a little dinosaur and it's color changing. It has a little mini stress ball inside. That's really weird. Thought it popped or something. But it sounded weird. Okay. But yeah, so that's it. It's a little dinosaur skin. Um, I'm trying to think of the ones that I haven't showed you yet. This is a DIY. So I had a, um, like a spiky Orbeez ball, and my friend popped it on accident when he was playing with it. And so I took the Orbeez out of it and put it into. this um, balloon and my dad helped me and we cut off the one part tied it and it's pretty nice it's a nice just fall so yeah then I've got this keychain that I also got from five below guys if you want like keychain fidgets they have like pop it and stress ball keychains um, at five below in the keychain section if you like look at the like the little like spinning thing that has keychains on it it has some that are sh um, fidgets mine does my fat blow does so this one's like a neato um it's a unicorn i didn't want a unicorn but that's the only one they had so i had to get it because i really wanted a keychain because it was really nice squish um most of it's already like come off. It has like eyes and a mouth and everything. That's all off. The paint of that is off. It's a really nice one. So then I had this poor little guy. And this was like my favorite stress ball. Um, it had a little glittery stress ball inside. It was tiny. And it went in here and then you squished it and like came out the mouth. It was so cute. I loved it so much. And it popped the other day on me. I had just the stress ball. I didn't have it in the skin. And it popped on me. So I had to throw it out. Like, all, like all down my... Like, I was about to go out to dinner. And I was just waiting for my dad. And I was playing with it. And it just popped on me. So I had to change my entire outfit. Um, so that was, like, horrible. And, yeah, now I just have the little skin. So I need to get another tiny stress ball. I don't have any that are tiny enough. <laughs> None of them are small enough. So it's just a little dinosaur right now. So yeah, that's the story of that guy. Um, and then I've got, oh, I've got this one. This is a DNA ball from Target too. It's a gumball machine. I love it so much. I think it's so cool. I think it's awesome. It's so awesome. I love it so much. Um, let's see what else I have here. Let's go on to Orby stress balls. My Orby stress balls. I have this one. This is the one I was talking about earlier. So my friend popped it. Um, so then for Christmas, his mom and dad and him got me a new one. Um, so they got me a new one. And it's so satisfying. Because I literally got it the day before he popped it. No. I had got it on Sunday, and he popped it Wednesday. So, um, he got me this. They got me a new one. And it has spikies on it. It's so cute. I love this. So nice. Then, I have this one. It's so satisfying. It's really quiet. It's not too loud. And it's kind of harder to squish. 
has like little beads inside with the Orbeez, which is really nice. Um, then I have this pineapple. So let me tell you a story about this pineapple. So there's this one store, Romway, that I got a bunch of different fidgets from. And I had been wanting a, I had gotten um, a couple months ago a pineapple Orby stress ball from Hobby Lobby. But I popped it on, a, I popped it the day I got it, it popped. Um, so I was really sad about that. So I um, was shopping on Romway a couple months later. And um, I really wanted like a Neato, like the one that had like the shaving cream in it kind of pineapple stress ball so I bought it and it got they gave me a Orbeez one instead so I was kind of unhappy at first um because first of all I didn't think it was going to be this tiny second of all it was not supposed to be an Orbeez one it's literally the picture showed a uh, neato kind of one so it still is nice though it's very satisfying still so at least I got the color I wanted so, yeah, that's the story about that one. Then I have Globbles. Now, these just have air in them. They're kind of not being so sticky anymore because I um, have had them for a little while now. But um, they're glow in the dark. And they just have air. I want to go to Five Below and get ones that have, like, the Neato kind of one in them. So I'm gonna try to get some of those. Then I have a Neato, my only Neato. I want to get some more Neatos. This is the only Neato I have. It is so satisfying. Yeah, that's my Neato. I can prove that it's actually a Neato and not like a Target brand or something that somebody's calling a Neato because my friend did that the other day to me and I thought I was getting a Neato and instead they gave me just like a rant, regular stress ball and they were calling it a Neato because they kind of thought it was like a Neato but it wasn't. That says Neato on it. So yeah, that's that one. Then my last but not least, my dough ball. Um, I got this from Five Below. It's like one that Mrs. Bench has in her store. And it has like the little rest. It has the wrestling guy on it, but mine's like, like Miss um, Bench says, very loved. I play with it all the time, so it's like, um, it doesn't really have any more of the picture on it anymore. But that's okay. I re I really didn't like the picture anyway. It was kind of creepy looking, muscle man guy. Yeah, so. It's really nice though, it's hard to squeeze. But that's what dough balls are. I wanna get the OG like actual dough ball. Um, but Mrs. Bench said this is really like a dough ball. So I've gotta speed this up a little bit because it's already been 13 minutes. Wow, that was a loud like smack my leg. So I have this. It's a baseball, but it's not an actual baseball. It's like a, it's filled with like, this is a wacky sack. I'm not very good at wacky sack. I can't, I can't like, oh, I did it. I hit it, that was awesome. Okay, it's filled like beads, so it's like fun to, it's like a, it's like a stress ball um, in a way because like you can like, it is a fidget. I call it I call it a stress ball because like you can do this with it. It makes a nice sound. Or you can try to do what it's supposed to be doing. Oh wacky. I think that's what it's called. Wacky tech, right guys? Right? Oh I kicked it again. See. So yeah, it has a little cute like little band-aid face. Um and um it's a baseball. So that's cute. And then I've got this bow bow bun uh, it's a dumpling guys it's a dumpling okay y'all need to try this right now 
Okay, what if your stress balls that has this? Pretty much all of them. Then, like, put your thumb on that little spot. Then take this finger and put it inside. And then, like, touch the... Touch the inside of the button thing. It feels like a belly button. It's so fun. Yeah, so that's my dumpling. Then I have a hedgehog from Mrs. Bench door. From Mrs. Bench's door. Here it is. Spikes and everything. So amazing. And I saw this DIY um, Barbie doll um, fidget toys that you can just pop one of these things off. And then it's a little monkey now. It works too. Then I've got a realistic banana stress ball. I should have videoed it. I pranked my grandmother and granddaddy. I made them think it was an actual one and like set it down. They're all about like making sure their house is clean. So for my grandmother, I pranked her by setting it down on one of the shelves. And she was like, who left a banana on the... And I was like, grandmother, it's just a fidget toy. And she was like, oh my goodness. And then my granddaddy, we were making ice cream the one night. And um, he just wanted a little bit of ice cream. So I like went into the room. And I was like, do you want... Um, I was like wiggling around. And I was like, do you want any banana on it? And to make it like... <laughs> so that was my sister. Um, I was like, do you want any banana on it? To make it like look like it was about to like fall off. And then he was like, be careful with that. And then I like left the room and I came back and I was like, oh, I'm just kidding. It's just a fidget toy. Now he wants one too to break people. Um, and it's also got this part stretches. So that's really nice. Then, Felicity, stop. Then I've got this. How do I already show this? Yes. Yes. Shh. Magnet beads, guys. I absolutely love magnet beads. I tried to find them and I found them at Mrs. Bench store. I just like did that to them, but I'm not. So I'm not going to squish them and play with them for y'all because I just like made them that design right before I did this video. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Then my last two stress balls. I have this that I got for Christmas. It's a jumbo. Joe ball. And she oh, also good. Shh. Stop. Jumbo Joe ball. I love this so much. Then my last but not least stress ball. I keep it in the box because it gets hair and like dirty really fast. I can't clean it, but it's kind of hard because it's so big. Because it's my jumbo. We're not sure if it's a dough ball. When I first got it, I thought it was a dough ball. Because, um, like, when you don't play with it a lot, it becomes, like, doughy. Um, okay, but when you do play with it, it's, like, a neato. Okay, sure. So, you have your own. Felicity got one from Santa. I got one from Cracker Barrel. Can I show you all it's my next? Comment down below if you say yes or no. If Felicity should also do a fidget tour of all of her fidgets. With Abigail in it. So yeah, that's my jumbo stress ball there. I showed everybody at Christmas, my family, and they were like, oh my goodness, this is so fun. This was really big, but they really liked this one. I do too. So okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. So you'll be notified when I post a new video. And get ready to watch part three when it comes out. So thank you guys. Bye.